Hey everybody, it's Stephanie Old World Gamer, and welcome back to more Hack Slash Loose. And uh, in the last episode, we conquered level two, or well, I guess you call it level two, and we just went over a hundred and one, uh, or we went over a hundred uh, health. So that's good. We're we're at, we're at a good place right now, and this uh, the speed is helping out quite a bit, I must say. And uh, if you look over to our right, the shout-out in this episode is going to Mr. Grim Boozed, uh, another guy who I've known for quite a while, and uh, honestly, probably one of the most enjoyable people you'll probably watch on YouTube, because he enjoys everything that he does. And it's all wholehearted, and it's very realistic and good, and I like the work that he does. He does good work, I, I must say. So, uh, if you, uh, enjoy Skyrim especially, he is a big Skyrim player, uh, he's done a crap ton of mods, and, uh, yeah, he's definitely worth checking out, uh, at the very least, to go and check him out, please, and help him out, because we all could use a little bit of help, we could all use a little bit of support, and all that good stuff, and that's what I'm trying to do here. So, um, just switched up our helm. It looks like and um, yeah oh another thing actually about Grim Booze is that uh, I also made his banner so uh, that was one that I done a while ago but it was one of the ones I enjoyed quite a bit so uh, yeah I guess you can go and see some more of my work over there on his channel as well and he's been using it for a while and uh, I think it looks nice anyways let's get back to the game uh, looks like we just ran in a circle trying to chase a goblin or something so uh, we've got most of the bottom layer of this uh, level of the dungeon uh, gone through already. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, um, you, you obviously have to deal your damage, or, like, when you're using a range character, you have to worry about uh, corners and uh, being able to actually see the people you're attacking uh, in order to attack them. And walls can get in the way. Um, you will find that some characters have uh, a type of magic, uh, well, some magic users should say have a type of magic that can pass through um, other enemies and characters. So, I mean, say if you did have an ally on the screen, like a lizard or something else, you could stand back and shoot through your ally and hit the enemy on the other side of them to help uh, defeat them at a quicker rate. But um, it's not always that easy. Not all classes have that ability, unfortunately, so... Uh, looks like that adamantine armor is no good for us. And as you can see here, they actually have Uruk High, which is the type of orcs they had in Lord of the Rings. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be a copyright thing for them. Uh, I don't think J.R.R. Tolkien is going to really have much to say about it, but or maybe his estate might. But anyways, doesn't really matter. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe Uruk High is... Uh, is something that anyone can use. I don't know. Uh, if somebody out there knows, by all means, uh, I would love to hear about it because that'd be interesting, actually. And uh, another tactic I use in this when I'm playing is I try to open doors uh, front on instead of to the side, like on a diagonal, because then you can usually see everything that's in the within the room most times, as opposed to if you're on a diagonal, you're probably not going to see around the corner uh, that you're hiding around, obviously, because you can't see through walls. So it's going to make it harder for you to, to be able to attack enemies that are hiding out uh, on that side of the room. So that's why I always approach from the mid. Approaching from the mid. And none of that's helpful at all. Ooh, a crate with, again, more garbage. Yay, garbage! And is there anything up here? It looks like there could be. Yep, it wraps around to, oh, a different exit, or not a different exit, just a, an empty room with nothing there. Oh, we got some orcs, uh, an orc barbarian, actually. They can take quite a beating as well. But, uh, well, actually, that shield would put us up a lot, but it would bring down our uh, range damage, so we're not going to worry about that. Oh, don't misclick, please. Wow, fire staff. I mean, we, I mean, if we really wanted to, I guess we could become a... Uh, ooh, Helm of Protection. Yeah. Um, we, we could go to magic if we really wanted to, but we don't necessarily have to, so... 13. 
think that's slightly better. Yeah, it gives us different resistances. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so some of these rooms are fairly empty. Uh, another thing is that the last episode will probably have levels 4 and 5, usually because, I don't know why, but it always seems like level 4 is a lot smaller than level 5, or than the rest of the levels, I should say. So, I don't know if that's something that they always plan on doing, or, or what, but... Okay, let's see what this elixir does. 13 health and 1 defense, that was a really good potion. We're up to 120 health now, we're doing fantastic as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I'm going to check around the corner, and of course, there's an orc lying in wait. He wants to smother us with his butt. Because that's what orcs do. That, and he'd probably want to eat my face. Just the face, though. It's the most delicious part of any human-type creature. <laughs> well, actually, I am a human Amazon. It says they're right there on the screen. So there you go. And there's more. Ugh. Orc guardians. And, yep, yeah. oh, another doorway all the way down here. And another door, that's probably the exit, or, ooh, wait, this could be something special, maybe? Let's go check this out. Okay, no, doesn't look like it. Now, see, I can't see part of the room there, uh, and now I can. That's why, uh, what I was saying earlier, you want to almost, like, go front on. Oh, and they shot through uh, that guy in. Actually, probably not, though. They shot around him, more than likely. Ooh, look at that, 101 and 28 if I use that uh, ring, but it's going to take away my regen. I think that's what's on it right now, but the regen will only go to your, whatever your maximum starting uh, health was, so it won't bring you up to 120 again. It's just going to, like, if I drop down to 2 health, it'll bring me back up to, say, 30 or whatever the Amazon starts with, so whatever your base stat health was. Goodbye, Mr. Orc. There you go. Ooh, -hoo, wow. That's... Is it better? Well, it'll actually increase my uh, ranged skills, so that's all I really care about. Or ability, I should say. I'm surprised it didn't give me the uh, large group of uh, people attacking you music. But I guess there was only three of them, so it didn't really matter too much. And, ooh, another, another barb. Oh, and, ah, I misclicked again. Jeez, this, this is what I was talking about with the whole misclick thing. It's so easy to misclick, but see, now that I have this running, or the ability to move two blocks, I can just outrun them and then peg them from a different direction. Um, so we'll go here next. Wow, I hit that guy for 22. That was pretty good. And... I, whoa, that was, that was daring. I, I went to meet him instead. Ooh. This will give us 11 health, resistance to psychic damage. That's better than what we didn't have. <laughs> we had no resistances before, apparently, so. Okay, let's take out this orc. Thank you. <laughs> and we haven't found anything uh, too special in particular, besides the rat, uh, or like a unique encounter. Besides the Rat King, which is, like I said, the probably the weakest and crappiest encounter you can have, so I'm not too worried about that. That's a crappy bow. And one extra defense. My defense is going up considerably, which is quite nice. I'm not... Ah! Okay, you die now. And your Akai is taking a lot of damage. Jeez. As to be expected... Oh, another... Hobgoblin Mage bites the dust. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes uh, w once you get so powered up, there's not much uh, that the enemies can do except just pretty much fall to you. So, and goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir. I do not need anything from you. And now we're going to destroy that orc. And, ooh, crate. Ooh, with boots! Smexy boots, let's put those on. Thank you very much, sir. And, oh, nothing over there besides a cesspit. <laughs> what is a cesspit? Oh my god. 
Ooh, and I don't have anything in that offhand either? Oh, yeah, I'll pick up that tome to increase my range uh, to 108. That is crazy awesome. Quite nice. Ooh, that would bring it down, but it would bring my... Eh, only one defense is not really worth it. Um, I guess we'll move here. There we go. And, uh, looks like there's a way back there that we haven't been yet, so... Uh, oh, and there's a guy back here as well. Hmm. Nothing to worry about, obviously. <laughs> Search this dummy. Ooh, 112 to 34, but it brings us down to 13. Four extra, though, and 34 instead of 33. And it's two extra defense on that one, but you know I'd sooner have the range. And thank you. And that's another melee weapon. We do not need that. And I'd say we're let's see, yeah, we're just about done here actually, so we're making pretty good time. Whew. And we haven't had much uh, issues with any of these yet, so, um, oop, a weapons rack. And that seems to be almost it. So, again, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching, oh wait, there's another guy here. Uh, we'll, we'll take, oh, there's a couple here, jeez. Ooh, that's a really nice cape, I want it. I will take it for myself and put it onto me. That's right, I said it. I will put this on. And, and ooh, there's an, still more enemies. Jesus, how did I miss so many of these guys? I can't believe this. Okay, so we should be almost done now, I think. Yeah, just down here should be our way down. So, again, I hope you guys have all enjoyed watching. If you did, leave a like and comment and all that good stuff. And as always, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time for another episode of Hack Slash Loot.